So, we have different assumptions in the study of game theory. Okay? First assumption is the duopoly. Okay? Meaning, dalawa lang ang player dito sa game theory. Duopoly. Uh, the market is being uh, duopolized no? by, by two big companies. Yeah? That's why duopoly siya. And next is zero-sum game. Okay, when we say zero-sum game, guys, the loss of one party is the gain of another. Anyway, this will be explained on the next slide too. And the last assumption for the study of the game theory is we have here one strategy at a time. You cannot implement two strategies, three strategies, or four strategies sa magkasabay na pagkakataon, magkasabay na oras. No, one strategy at a time lang tayo. Again, Huwag kakalimutan, assumptions in the study of game theory, duopoly, zero-sum game, and one strategy at a time. Hello everyone, so good day to all of you. For this presentation, we will going to have our next topic and it's, it is all about the game theory. So, introduction lang ito. We will not be having any computation in this video. Okay? So, game theory and introduction. When we say game theory, guys, this is actually a study of the ways in which strategic interactions among rational players take note of the term rational. Okay? Among rational players produced outcomes with respect to the preferences or utilities, that's why nao natin inaral yung utility theory before the game theory, of those players, none of which might have been intended by any of them. So, what does this mean? Game theory, this is actually uh, strategic decision-making siya between rational players doon sa isang game, kung ano man yung game na pinag-uusapan natin. It can be a specific game like poker, it can be a decision making actually ang isa pag pagdating sa decision making sikat diyan si prisoner's dilemma na if you're familiar with prisoner's dilemma na discuss ito sa economics and yun okay din yun as example another na applicable si game theory sa business world and actually ayun yung pag-uusapan natin game theory in business world sa decision making ng mga corporate no ng corporate executives corporate managers so ano yung gagawin nilang next moves and marami pa, no, marami pang application si game theories. As long as we're moving sa topic na ito, may kita ninyo how this game theory is applied in the real world scenario. Okay, so we have different assumptions in the study of game theory. Okay, first assumption is the duopoly. Okay, meaning dalawa lang ang player dito sa game theory, duopoly. Uh, the market is being uh, duopolized. No? By, by two big companies. Yeah? That's why the wall pa siya. And next is zero-sum game. Okay? When we say zero-sum game, guys, the loss of one party is the gain of another. Anyway, this will be explained on the next slide too. And the last assumption for the study of the game theory is we have here one strategy at a time. You cannot implement two strategies, three strategies, or four strategies sa magkasabay na pagkakataon, magkasabay na oras. No? One strategy at a time lang tayo. Again, huwag kakalimutan, assumptions in the study of game theory, duopoly, zero-sum game, and one strategy at a time. So, let's explain this in deeper. When we say duopoly, just like what I have said before, there are only two players or parties involved. So, a duopoly is a market that has only two suppliers, kung ano man yung industry na yun, any industry, basta may dalawa lang yung supplier, dalawa lang yung company na nagpe-play in that market, that is a duopoly, or a market that is dominated by two suppliers to the extent that they jointly control prices. Okay, so before, in the Philippines, somehow, duopoly tayo pagdating sa internet connections pero ngayon may mga bago na tayong market players no sa internet connections sa uh, telecommunications industry so that is an example of duopoly now for the zero sum game it is the game uh, it is called zero sum game if the game is yung income niya no ng one party is equal to the loss of the other okay pag natalo ako panalo siya pag 
pag talo siya, panalo ako. That is zero sum game. Bakit zero sum? Dahil na, ta, panalo ako 2. 2 dollars, for example. Then the other party loses negative, uh, loses 2 dollars. So that is negative 2 dollars. Positive 2 plus negative 2 is equal to zero. That's why it is called as zero sum game. The loss of another is the win of another party. Okay? And we find that the zero sum game is for each set of strategies chosen, then the game is a zero sum game. Uh, so, sorry, rather. If we add up the wins and losses in a game, treating losses as negative, and we find that the, that the sum of uh, a zero for each of set of strategies chosen, then the game is a zero sum game. Okay? Uh-huh. Poker actually is a zero sum game. Another assumption, we have this one strategy at a time. The process of planning and executing various maneuvers and or the actions in an attempt to reach a goal. A party can only do one strategy at a time, just like what I have said before. Now, with regards to the game theory, take note guys that each party can can may initially have two or more available strategies and some may be eliminated through domination. Okay, ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Sabi mo sir, one strategy lang, pero ngayon bakit biglang two or more? You can have two or more strategies, pero yung i-implement mo, no, sa certain uh, sa certain time, is isa lang. One strategy at a time. If ever na your strategy is being dominated by the other party, then that will be the time na i-implement mo na yung next na strategy na meron ka. Now that's why sabi dito, some may be eliminated through domination kasi that is a ano, that is game. No, that is a competition. That is uh, laban siya between two parties. So you need to dominate the other for you to be able to win the game. Okay? So with regards to game theory, we have these two different scenarios. The first scenario is the pure strategy and the second one is the mixed strategy. So this is where we gonna be focusing on our next presentation. Ano yung pure strategy and ano naman etong mixed strategy. What are their differences and what are the examples for these two scenarios of game theory? So, that ends up my presentation for the introduction of game theory. No, napaka dali lang ng introduction natin. Si I think magtatagal tayo sa mismong pure strategy tsaka sa mixed strategy. I have several examples for that Uh, scenarios under this game theory. Okay, so I hope you learned something from this presentation, guys, and I'm hoping na makita pa kayo sa ating next na presentations, especially sa scenarios of game theory, yung nabanggit ko nga, no? pure and mixed strategies. Okay, so see you in our next presentation. Keep safe always. Thank you. Bye-bye.